Major funding for this program was provided by the Cats for Life Corporation. Kai Foundation, dedicated to helping small logo channels. Senfs Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and by contribution to your station from viewers like you. Thank you. I beg your pardon? Mwahaha. <laughs>What's going on, Poo Tube? Scary Entertainment Nostalgia Fun back again with yet another video. And hello there, how are you doing today? <laughs> it's a back wasteland. Alright, but in all seriousness, I thought I would do something sort of different today. Maybe something a little educational for you? Like, my educational content was good enough already, but we need to make it more educational. As always, you probably shouldn't expect much when it comes to educational company and PBS affiliate logos. I mean, most of them are pretty cheap and bad anyway. Which is why today I'm going to count down the worst of the worst, the top 10 worst, and in some cases, cheesiest, PBS and education logos. Let's get started. You know, I was going to put their second logo at the number 10 spot, but then I realized this one is just far worse, at least in my opinion. We have this god-awful rippling and seizure-inducing, maybe, I didn't put a seizure warning uh, at the beginning, early scanimation on top of a very ugly orange and brown color scheme. But at least there's one plus to this. The music is pretty decent. But in terms of animation, holy crap is it ugly to look at. Oh lord, talk about bad design. This logo is incredibly cheesy. But not only that, it's also pretty ominous when you combine the whole dark background and weird-ass letters with the music. The creepy electronic sci-fi music in the background doesn't suit this logo at all. Not one bit. Also, the letters are too damn blocky. So all in all, this horribly executed and animated logo could probably give children nightmares as well. Thanks a lot, Sesame Workshop. is Channel 12. Mm. Why? Just why did you have to make this logo seizure-inducing? I mean, come on, PBS. Surely you can make your logos better than this seizure-inducing trailing piece of shit. I could only imagine that people in Delaware were probably having seizures because of this terrible logo. It might have started off as a simple logo with a black background, but then they probably just added these out-of-place seizure-inducing trailing effects that had basically nothing to do with the logo whatsoever beforehand. And not to mention, the music is quite irritating too. So yeah, all in all, this is a terrible logo. Not as bad as the next seven choices on this list, but it's still pretty bad.
Before we get to the logo, I want to point out that Films Incorporated was an educational movie company that made films that were supposed to be screened in classrooms. Let that sink in for a moment. Now imagine this. You're a kid in one of those classrooms and one of the Films Incorporated movies is about to start. You see the square coming at you via Doom style and then it breaks your speakers, 3G home video style. Yeah, what a perfect combination. Not. Oh God, I, uh, I think I'm gonna throw up. <coughs> This logo is terrible. Absolutely horrible. The scanimation is an eyesore to look at, and nothing in this logo even makes sense. And don't even get me started on the music. Did these guys really think that... Who in their right mind would even want to conduct something as awful as this? It sounds disjointed, it looks disjointed, and overall, it's just a disjointed, distorted, ugly, stupid mess. <coughs> Pardon me, I just threw up again. I hate this logo. The bad cell animation is just awful. I already said it's bad, but it's just awful. And also, the quality of the film is just terrible as a whole. And the music... I freaking hate it! It's got these weird guitar notes and this bizarre harmonica playing over the top. And it's really, really out of tune at times, which makes this logo even more insufferable than it needs to be. I am never going to look at my algebra textbooks the same way ever again. This logo sucks a lot of ass, and it does so in one of the worst ways imaginable. First off, why the hell would you use an orange and yellow sand background as your background? And also, what is up with the black outline and then the purple KLRN letters coming in? And also, why the hell are San Antonio and Austin just in white outlines? And also, why is the music up and down like... It makes no sense whatsoever. But yeah, it's headache inducing and just irritating as a whole. Alright, let's be honest, you knew this one was coming. But what do I have to say about this logo? Well, for one thing, you don't put lime green and dark purple together in a logo. It looks awful. And worse yet, you, you shouldn't even be adding yellow and orange either. That just adds to the whole ugliness. And also, the font is just god-awful to look at. It looks like UNC JV and then PRCSCNJS. It's, it's just confusing, ugly, headache-inducing, and not to mention the music is kind of irritating as well, although it is also a bit soothing. 
Ugh, whatever, let's move on. What the hell? First off, what's that blue orb or goo thing I'm seeing right in front of me right now? And second, who the hell thought that the font for KWSU was a good idea? It looks more like CWSU or CUSU or something like that. It just looks extremely ugly. And the music makes no sense. Actually, it's more terrifying than anything, considering it sounds like a loud game over screen that's trying to rub your face in your failure. Ugly, terrifying, nonsensical. This is one of the worst PPS logos I've ever seen. And definitely deserving of the number two spot. I'm going to use the following clips to explain how I feel about this logo. You know what? You suck ass. You suck. I fucking hate y'all and I can't wait to obliterate your fucking asses. No! No, no! No, no! No, no! No, no, no! No! My thoughts exactly. Why? This logo makes me want to rip every single hair out of my freaking head. It is so lazy and so simple that it makes me cringe. Seriously, this logo absolutely sucks. So much so that I put it as number 7 on my top 10 worst logos of all time. I just don't know what else to say about it that hasn't been said already. There's no music whatsoever other than random people clapping, I guess. There's no animation other than the text switching. And that's it. Other than that, there's nothing entertaining about it whatsoever. There was no effort put into this whatsoever and no consideration whatsoever. All it is is just text on a black screen, switching, and that's it. You get nothing. Absolutely 
nothing. You ever wonder why this is number one on the top 20 or top 10 cheesiest and worst PBS and educational logos? Yeah, well, that's why. Not even the fact that it's a small city with a population of, I don't know, 3,000 people living there can even save this. Because even though this is indeed one of the worst logos I've ever seen, and possibly the worst PBS logo I've ever seen, and educational logo, I've still seen far worse logos from far greater areas. But this is indeed a big, giant pile of cheese. So screw you, KUCB! And that's all I've got for the top 10 worst, cheesiest, stupidest, ugliest, PBS education logo. Look, I'm done with the list. You all should have expected that most of the choices came from America. Because that's where all the bad PBS logos are. I mean, PBS is bit. Oh my god, basic freaking logic. Ugh! I'm sorry guys, I'm just really pissed off after the last couple of logos. But if you want to suggest any other ideas for logo top 10s or even other videos like reactions or stuff like that, feel free to let me know in the comments. And as always, like the video, subscribe, and share this with your friends. Alright everybody, I've been sent Finn. Thank you for watching this special program. Plastic Cobra? Major funding for this program was provided by the Cats for Life Corporation. Kai Foundation, dedicated to helping small logo channels. Senf's Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and by contribution to your station from viewers like you. Thank you.